fairly nice day across the region, but things are starting to change, especially to the north southeast and west of Spokane. We are just right in the middle seeing a dry patch around Spokane, but we are seeing some uh, wet and stormy conditions everywhere else. 59 overnight tonight, mostly cloudy skies here in Spokane. A very slight chance of some isolated showers this evening, then mostly cloudy overnight. Those winds will be out of the northeast 5 to 10 miles per hour tomorrow. Chances of showers throughout the day and the possibility of some afternoon thunderstorms. 84 degrees for our high. Those winds will be out of the southwest 5 to 15 miles per hour. There's that system tracking across the region. You can see that's bringing us showers and thunderstorms around the eastern slopes of the Cascades down into the Columbia Basin, the Elsie Valley, and the central portion of the Idaho Panhandle. Now, for Chelan County, that includes uh, Leavenworth and Stahican. Those areas we are seeing those thunderstorms right now. Those are bringing some heavy downpours as well as cloud to ground lightning. That is going to persist into the late evening hours. Going to continue seeing those thunderstorms develop there. We are also seeing them develop around the Columbia Basin. So just around Moses Lake, down into the Elsie Valley, Pullman, Moscow, and Lewiston, central panhandle of Idaho as well. Now for the Columbia Basin and the Elsie Valley, looks like we're going to continue seeing the possibility of lightning strikes as well as, as those heavy downpours and possibly some wind gusts up to 30 miles per hour. For the central panhandle of Idaho, which includes I-90 at Lookout Pass, we are seeing those heavy downpours, cloud to ground lightning, and also some reports of pea-sized hail. So a little bit of everything as this system pushes through. Going to continue seeing those storms develop over the next few hours here until about sunset. That's when things look like they're going to start drying out and calming down. That convection will be calming down. You can see this is Sunday at 3 p.m. earlier today. We are mostly showers along the eastern slopes of the Cascades. By tonight, things are going to calm down. We're going to see mostly cloudy skies for the region. And then tomorrow, more showers kick up in the morning. That is going to include Spokane. We're going to see the potential of showers for most of the region throughout the day. By the afternoon, potential of those thunderstorms again. These are going to be similar to what we saw today. So the potential of some lightning, heavy downpours, and possibly some hail with that system. By Tuesday morning, that low is going to start lifting out of the region. We're going to be left with some drier conditions as we head towards the rest of the week. Today's high 81, a low of 58. Usually we're right at 84 this time of year and 57 for our low. And you can see tomorrow we're going to be close to that average 84 for the high. Chances of showers throughout the day, possibly some afternoon thunderstorms. 82 on Tuesday, then we're dropping down back to 81 with more chances of showers on Wednesday before we really start to warm up and dry out. 87 by Friday, 88 by Sunday. Oh, it's starting to look like summer. Yeah, there it is. We've been looking for you, summer. And I'm sure someone's looking for Ruby. Looks like she was playing in the pool today. Uh, I think that's a, a Frisbee. <laughs> I was wondering Frisbee what that was in her mouth. like a taco. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Adorable picture of Ruby. She's a little lab for her weekend whiskers today. If you want to see your pets on weekend whiskers, email me, alyssa.kxy.com.